There's a chill in the air, which means that hockey season has finally arrived. Hello, fans. Joseph Zakszewski with you as the Rockford Ice Hawks head out on the road to square off against the Cleveland Monsters starting tonight, game number one of the 2018-19 season. Now, leading up to this contest, the Ice Hawks have had several weeks of practice. You have to go back to even months ago when they were a part of the Chicago Blackhawks organization with development camp, rookie camp, training camp, and now they're playing for real, all starting tonight out at Quicken Loans Arena against the Cleveland Monsters. We chatted with head coach Jeremy Colleton to get his thoughts on the makeup of this Rockford Ice Hogs group. Certainly a lot of familiar faces for the team. Matthew Heim or Anthony Lewis, just to name a few of the high-flying weapons that this group will have in terms of point production and goal scoring, but also some of the newer faces as well. So certainly Jeremy Colleton anxious to get a new season under his belt. Well, I think it's competitive. Uh, we've got a lot of good players and uh, some returning guys who we feel um, – Hopefully they'll pick up where, we, where they left off last year and um, you know some, some first year guys again who will see how long it takes them to get up to speed and get used to playing the pro game and then uh, you know some veterans obviously left us but we got a couple back in who um, I think so far they've shown uh, you know, mentality and leadership that we want to see so that's exciting and uh, you know we, we're going to learn a lot in the first weekend you know it's uh, go through the whole preseason and whether you play exhibition games or not, I don't think you learn much about your team until you play the real games. So I'm um, looking forward to that. Is it safe to say Collins the number one goaltender going in and what do you expect from him in year two? Um, well, we haven't talked about who's going to play yet, but certainly uh, he did a great job for us last year in the second half and uh, was a big part of why we were able to get as far as we did. So. We're looking for him to pick up where he left off. Uh, I think he had a good camp in Chicago, and um, hopefully he can continue to, to build his game, develop further and further. And if he does that, he'll have a great season. Do you go about it a little differently now from you did a year ago, whether it be because fewer or a little more leadership on this group or a different style of player? Um, what do you mean by go about it? Like just You had so many first-year rookies, it seemed like, at this point last year. Right. And this year you've got maybe some more leaders and you you can go about it a little differently. Yeah, I mean, we still have some young guys to break in and we still have some second-year guys who are going to need help. But overall, I do feel uh, pretty comfortable with, with the guys who are coming back, that they know what's expected and um, the sort of mentality we want to have on a day-to-day -day basis and hopefully they can uh, first of all lead by example but but help everyone else to to get to that level as soon as we can so um, I guess we we my approach is different in that we're going to demand more earlier um, we we think we have a chance to have a really good team and so uh, we're not going to accept less it's kind of the excitement level now that it's game week are the guys bringing a little bit more energy are they feeling it a little more I think so. Uh, you know, September is long, and uh, everyone wants to play the real games. That's why we're doing this. So it is exciting to get into that last week, and you can feel it. And now we're going to travel tomorrow. So uh, that's – I know the guys are excited. I know we are. So we're, we're happy that uh, we're finally here, and, and uh, we'll, we'll get, get geared up for, for two games in a short period of time, and, and then we'll kind of reassess after that. How much thought do you put into kind of the double-edged sword of having a roster so loaded like this and just knowing that it, how, how flexible you need to be maybe early? Do you think about what could happen with Chicago and you and, and with your, your roster over the next month? I don't think more than we normally would. Um, this is the league. We know that we got to be ready to adjust and adapt on a day-to-day -day basis, and we know that we're we have some players who feel like they can play at the next level and so we want to prepare them as best we can so that when they do get the chance they're ready to go so um, that doesn't really change um, well we again I don't know we don't know what we have yet until we start playing but I think we feel good about uh, we're definitely gonna be competitive the Ice Hogs and Cleveland Monsters open up this season against each other for the third consecutive year, and they're certainly going to try and get off on the right foot out here tonight in Cleveland, Ohio. Puck drop just moments away here on Ice Hogs Warm-Up. 